now it's time for hard thrusting news. Why do I call it hard thrusting news? Because it's hard to find a news story where someone isn't getting screwed. You get up on your little screen and howl about America. Okay. And democracy. But I get to be on top. The House passes a bill that will lead to a nationwide ban on the popular video app TikTok if China-based owner doesn't sell its stake. As lawmakers acted on concerns that the company's current ownership structure is a national security threat. The bill passed by a vote of 352 to 65 now goes to the Senate where its prospects are unclear. Magic 8 ball. Prospects are unclear. The Senate would also need to pass the measure for it to become law, and lawmakers in that chamber indicate it would undergo a thorough review. President Joe Biden has said if Congress passes the measure, he will sign it. Great. Thanks, Joe. Overall, 197 Republican lawmakers voted for the measure and 15 against. On the Democratic side, 155 voted for the bill and 50 against. Hmm. Which party is the party of more freedom? Hmm. 15 to 50? Some Republican opponents of the bill said the U.S. should warn consumers if there are data privacy and propaganda concerns, but the first choice should be left with consumers. The answer to authoritarianism is not more authoritarianism, said Representative Tom McClintock, Republican of California. The answer to CCP-style propaganda is not CCP-style oppression. Anyone doesn't know, CCP is China. So the answer to China-style propaganda is not China-style oppression. Let us slow down before we blunder down this very steep, slippery slope, he finished saying. Uh, Democrats also warned of the impact a ban would have on users in the U.S., including entrepreneurs and business owners, which they always claim to be looking out for, but never really are. You're not rich enough. One of the no votes came from Representative Jim Himes the ranking Democratic member of the House Intelligence Committee. One of the key differences between us and those adversaries, Heinz says, is the fact that they shut down newspapers, broadcast stations, and social media platforms. We do not, Heinz said. We trust our citizens to be worthy of their democracy. We do not trust our government to decide what information they may or may not see. Once again... President Joe Biden has said if Congress passes the the measure, he will sign it. The day before the House vote, top national security officials in the Biden administration held a closed-door briefing with lawmakers to discuss TikTok and the national security implications. Lawmakers are balancing those security concerns against a desire not to limit free speech online. So here's a little something about free speech. The First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America, ratified December 15th, 1791. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Oh, how quaint. From the far right to the center left, the politicians in this country are hoping that you'll never read or have had that read to you. They've been chipping away at your rights with an ice pick since the 1980s when the right power bottomed itself to the buffet version of Christianity that has risen in the U.S. Then, after September 11, 2001, they used the fear that bin Laden was trying to instill in all of us to trade the ice pick for a pickaxe. So many Americans don't even realize the damage to habeas corpus alone. But I digress. In a joint statement with Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, Boo this man! The top Republican on the intelligence panel, (laughs) (laughs) You serious? Sure. Because when I think intelligence, I think... Marco Rubio. I can handle things. I'm smart. I'm smart. And I want respect. So in a joint statement with Marco Rubio, Warner said that they were united in our concern about the national security threat posed by TikTok. 
a platform with enormous power to influence and divide Americans, whose parent company, ByteDance, remains legally required to do the bidding of the Chinese Communist Party. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? Question is, have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? <sighs> We're not past the Red Scare yet, guys? Really? All this time, all the knowledge of all the stuff that happened there that was, well, extra legal, to put it nicely, we're still not behind it. But, ooh, scary. But I think Representative Sarah Jacobs, Democrat of California, brings up a fantastic point. Not a single thing that we've heard in today's classified briefings was unique to TikTok. It was things that happened on every single social media platform. In related news, Texans in search of online adult content found disappointment Thursday after the website Pornhub suspended services in their state over objections to the age verification law that the site claims stifles First Amendment rights. Pornhub, one of the most popular websites in the world, Green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Blocked Texas-based access to its site one week after the conservative U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit upheld the age verification portion of the state law. The adult video site previously opposed such measures in Utah and other states, arguing that age-gating laws are ineffective, unfair, and punish the very users states want to protect. So... In order to protect the children, we're going to need to verify what type of things you like. Don't worry, we would never use any of this material to embarrass or black influence you in any way we don't deem necessary. Texas Attorney Governor Ken Paxton, Republican, called the decision a victory for me you're somewhere between a cockroach and that white stuff that accumulates at the corner of your mouth when you're really thirsty a victory over porn companies and denied the state's laws violate free speech laws um they they do but free expression advocates including those in the adult content industry warn that laws like this one in texas are being weaponized to censor a variety of content including reproductive rights resources and queer literature. Surprise, surprise, surprise. No. They'd never use a law intended to enforce one thing on something else. Oh, wait, wait what's that? What, what? Oh, uh, you're saying I should look up the promised use and then abuse of RICO laws? Did you say RICO laws? Let me just... Just a second. One more thing. Oh, my. And in what I'm sure is unrelated news, web searches for VPNs swell 400% in Texas as Pornhub blocks access. <laughs> Everything goes somewhere. Can't stop the signal. Thank you, Mr. Universe. What he means by that is VPNs, or virtual private networks, allow internet users to encrypt their connections and obscure their location to access region-restricted content. The only people you're going to impede with a law like this are people too old to figure out a VPN, oh, and how to order blue shoes online. The other group are those who just reached puberty and need to do about 10 to 20 minutes of research on which VPN to download. Psst. They have free VPNs. Good luck, brutes. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that? Green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Oh. 